beatings made our nation. That was a tough loss. And it's up there with that Iowa State game and Oklahoma State game last season. In some of the most unwatchable misses of a game that we'll ever see. Now, I think this game pretty much completely ousted I our idea of having a top ranked defense and it's show itself not number one it, that the performance it did it could not stop Oklahoma at all it could not put a dent on anything Land we could be more throwdowns in this game than any other game he has this season percentage wise And some of my um, opinions on Jones in general, man, Oklahoma's offense and defense were off. As Oklahoma's one team, one game, just broke through our, def our, our defensive line. And their you know, secondary, which I was calling to question a bit, is it's, it's a top tail secondary. Because they took advantage of every mistake we made on offense. They forced so many passes that I'm surprised he didn't get picked off more. I'm I'm really am. I mean, I said in my freaking video that in order to win this game, we need to limit as much offensive mistakes as possible. First interception. He intercepted. Then one of the uh, then he, one of the Oklahoma players bumped it. That was a lucky break. That should have been all right. I'm not gonna try to force it into coverage. Yeah, he did that the other night. He couldn't get anything started. And our one game get nothing at all. And which surprised me, but. Then I realized that OU's um, one defense was either not used to it at all early in the season, or our oh, one team not that bad. Hell, maybe both. But I'm leaning more on OU's defense actually improving on the one. I mean. I. This is definitely events from last year. From they when we lost a home to us. And unlike them, who showed up to play their game, they lost. We didn't. We just didn't show up at all for this game. And it was that's just some bell but a watch. I mean plus the standing out there in the blistering cold, the wind chill it has made things all that much worse. I mean this game showed promise in the beginning. Cause both our drive when we started out with got touchdowns. Is that impressive? This ooh, this could be a real fun game. No, no, way off. We got blown. F we got blown out. We, I'm having a real hard time not exploding the angle right now. <coughs> Not again. If we play this bad against Oklahoma, I really don't want to see how bad we play against West Virginia. Because put that bad against Oklahoma's offense, West Virginia's gonna dominate us. This this game has to be a loading point. When we loan 
what we need to work on majorly because now we're going to this game we didn't really have too much of a really good idea on what was flawed with us I mean because we didn't really face too many good teams except for maybe Iowa State but they're probably above average right now and I'm glad they beat Texas Christian because that makes our win over them look better for rankings. I mean, there's not much more to say about this game. I was pumped for this game. I was excited. I was one of those who camped out in the blistering cold wind on the Rocky Hill Shoulders. Not a kill. I wanted to be here. The game. And I still would have done it, even knowing what I know now. Because I'll always be a Raider fan. I always pull for them to the very end. To the last snap. Rain, sleet, snow, shine, whatever. I'll always be there cheering on to the very end. And by the end of the game, there's only a few hundred probably left in the stadium. Which was kind of disheartening to see. But I also like to give a um, shout out to some of my um, fellow Raiders near the end of the game who are really, really good sports. This same to the MOU team, good game and all that. So, props to them. Other than that, I. I don't know what to say, but, but oh you. I hope you guys kick Texas Attacks next week. I really do. <sighs> Until next time, Raider Nation. Guns up and made up hell. And let's hope the rest of the season goes better. <laughs>